Hello, today in this tutorial I will be showing you how to burn a game rip for the Xbox 360 to a dual layer disc. Before we get started, uh, I will warn you that downloading or ripping games that do not belong to you is illegal. This tutorial is for people that want to back up the games that they own. I personally can't control how you use this tutorial, but I don't take any responsibility if you get caught pirating games. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is download Image Burn. It'll, uh, I'll give you a link to it. It'll be in the description on the right. So once you've downloaded it and installed it, you're going to want to open it and then click Write Image File to Disk. Uh, then you're going to want to click uh, Browse for File. And then um, you're going to, you don't want to select the ISO file. You're going to want to select the DVD file because it has the right uh, layer break in it. Next, you're going to want to go to Tools and then Settings. Then you're going to want to go to the Right tab. And then you're going to go down to Sectors in L0. Make sure that that is that number. It says 1913760. It also never hurts to uh, check the DVD file that came with your ISO to make sure that it is that number. I'm just going to go real quick to my ISO. Just open the DVD file with a notepad and then I you can't see it but it's the right layer break the next thing you're gonna wanna do is put in your dual layer DVD into your dual layer DVD burner I suggest using verbatim uh, I, I'm using next tech but verbatim is higher quality so I suggest using that so just put it in after you put it in uh, you should notice that the thing that was grayed out before that means to burn it uh, is not grayed out anymore you're gonna want to double check everything make sure it looks right and then change the write speed to 2x the slower the better as it will screw up sometimes if you go faster then when you're ready to go just click write so when it's done burning it it'll uh, eject the tray don't touch it it'll put it back in and then it'll start verifying it give it another 20 minutes and it'll be done verifying it um, it'll get to 99 percent and then it'll uh, finish it'll pop up with a little thing after the image buffer goes down it'll play a little jingle and then you're just gonna click OK it'll bring you back to this at the bottom left hand corner it'll say disk not empty that's good thanks for watching my tutorial and don't forget to subscribe